Hi, this is Nina with Voila Stamping. Thanks so much for joining me today. And this is the project that I'm going to share with you. Don't you think it turned out really cute? I love it. This is a chocolate bar holder. And inside here I have a full size Hershey bar. And I don't know of anybody who does not love Hershey's chocolate. So I thought that this would be a cute stocking stuffer gift or even a little gift for somebody that you work with. And this little medallion that I have on top, I've put a string on so somebody could actually use this as a Christmas tree ornament if they want to or if they would like they could also use it as a gift tag on a gift that they want to give to someone else so this is very quick simple and easy to do there's not a whole lot of paper needed to create this project and today I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to do it with red cardstock as opposed to white and just see how it looks with that so let's get started on how to make this project you're going to need a piece of real red cardstock cut at six and three fourths by six and three fourths inches. You'll need two strips of whisper white cut to seven and a half by one. These will go together to form the belly band. You need one piece of silver glimmer paper cut at seven eighths of an inch wide by five inches long. Then I have a variety of circles here and a little ornament. And what I use to cut these out is these two pieces here, the scalloped, I can't pick it up, the scalloped red, real red cardstock and the basic black. I used our layering circles framelit dies to cut those out. And the sizes that I used was for the scallop, it's the two and one eighth inch scallop circle. And then for the circle, the plain circle, it's the two and three eighths inch circle framelit for that. Um, for these two pieces, I used the um, Mary Tags Framelit Dies. The two pieces that I used was this one here with the deer and this ornament die to cut those out. And those are all going to get layered one on top of another to create the little medallion that'll be going on top of the package. Um, I also have the Merry Christmas stamped there. And I used the Star of Light stamp set. And you guys, this stamp set is absolutely fabulous. There is a ton of stamps in this set. There's the stars and the little... This makes me think of a, a whirlwind of snow with glittery stars in it. I think it's pretty. And there's all sorts of nice sentiments. I'm going to use the Merry Christmas one today. But I uh, love this stamp set. Let me move this out of the way and we will get started on this project. So the first thing that we'll need to do is bring in our scoreboard. The scoring on this is very simple and very straightforward. Um, you're going to score at one and one half inch, then at one and three fourths inch, then at four and one eighth, and then four and three eighths. And that is it. That is all the scoring that has to be done. Then let's go ahead and fold and burnish those score lines. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment on there. So I know that this is going to be the top. So my sentiment needs to be stamped right there. I'm going to bring in a piece of just notebook paper in case I make a mess. I don't want to get ink all over my work surface. So I'm using a black basic or basic black ink. And this is the archival ink. So I'm going to get that stamp inked up then just stamp ah nice that black archival ink makes such a crisp pretty stamp okay gonna go ahead now and put my pretties on there I am a sucker for anything that sparkles I put a small one right up here by the M 
and then I put a medium sized one, if I can get a hold of it, down here by the S. And that's all that I did. You can embellish it more or not at all if that's what you choose to do. This is just an idea of what you can do and you can certainly change it up and make it your own. So we're done with this part for now. I'm just going to set that aside. Next thing I'm going to do is, and I know this is not going to be easy for you to see because it's white on white, I'm going to take some fast fuse. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bring that paper back in so I don't get fast fuse on my work surface. And I'm just going to put a little bit of it on the edge of one of these pieces of paper. Then just overlap this just on top of that fast fuse, just enough to cover it up. Okay, see what I've done there? I know it's hard to see because it's white paper on a white background. Um, then this is actually going to be scored as well. This piece is scored at three and one half, then at three and three fourths, and let me slide it over a little bit. Then at ten and one half, oopsie, and ten and three fourths. Okay, so get this out of the way again. I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish these score lines as well. Alrighty, so that is going to be your belly band and you'll just stick it together on top like that. Now, next, let's go ahead and start putting together our medallion. The first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to put glue on the back of this silver glimmer paper. And you know what? I see a little piece or a couple of pieces that I didn't get knocked out right there. So let me go ahead and take care of those. Okay, got them out. So I'm going to put some multi-purpose glue on the back of this. Oh, there's a couple more pieces. I'm missing stuff here. I guess I must have been in a hurry and did not pay attention. Okay, now I've got them all out. And I just put a light amount of glue everywhere on everything back here because I do want it to stick. Then I'm going to lay that right on top of the black cardstock, get it all lined up. And I sometimes I do get a little glue squishing out from underneath it, but it dries clear, so it's not a big deal if that happens. Alrighty, then I'm going to um, adhere the scallop circle to the black. a little fuse on there, center it up and stick it down. And I want to use a dimensional to put the deer on top. Make sure that I'm in the center and press it down. That's all there is to that. Now, in order to make this usable for the recipient, I just make a 1 8 inch hole in the very top here. Then I use the, I don't know where I put it, there it is. I use the Cherry Cobbler Baker's Twine out of the uh, Trio Baker Twine pack. And I'm going to cut a piece that's probably about eight inches long. And um, I try to get it to a point and then I twist it just a little bit so that I can get it through that hole. And I stick it from the back to the front and I untwist it, make a loop and pull those back strings through to the front and then tighten it up. So there you go. Then um, I just clip it off so that there's, I don't know, three or so inches. That way, if the person wants to use it as an ornament on their tree, they can. They can tie that right on a branch. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, get this. Well, I almost forgot. We've got to get this piece ready too. 
So what I'm going to do with this is right in the center I'm just going to cut up about half an inch then I'm going to come in on this corner and clip to that first cut mark and then do it the same on this side and then I've got this little V shape cut out. I do the same thing here. I'm going to turn it over. You can probably see better if I do it that way. Then cut up to there, cut up to there. Alright, so that makes our banner. Let's get our candy bar put inside and you can always use just a little smidge of fast fuse or some snail to kind of hold that candy bar in place. Fold the bottom down, fold the top over. Then I'm going to wrap the belly band around the center. All right. I'm gonna take my fast fuse, put a little piece right there, if I can get it to come out. There we go. All right, so get that folded around. And stick one on top of the other. Slide it down into place. Center is great. Put some fast fuse on the banner. Center it up. Then I'm going to use a couple of glue dots on the back here to hold this in place. Okay. Then get that centered up and stick those glue dots down. And you're done. It is all finished. See how quick and easy that was? And it really makes a really, really cute little gift for somebody. So there it is with red and a white belly band. And here it is with white and a red belly band. I like them both ways. Um, I think that there is any number of colors that you could use. Certainly it doesn't have to be black, red, and white. I just really like those colors together. It would also look good with red and green, or you could use um, some designer series paper and have a pattern background if you chose. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you would like to reach out to me and ask for a PDF of the instructions on how to make these, the best way to contact me for now is at wallastamping at gmail.com. I would love to hear your comments about this project below this video. And I would also love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, it would be great if you would give me the opportunity to be your demonstrator. So I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much.